Welcome to the OE Academy. You have never mounted a cylinder head before? No problem. We have created a cylinder head assembly guide for you, taking you step by step through the appropriate stations. First, the delivered cylinder head is lifted out of the cardboard box or wooden crate onto the workbench with the help of a crane. To do this, the magnetic crane mount must be placed on the unpacked item and the lever flipped. Now the receptacle is firmly seated on the cylinder head. Now the crane receptacle is moved upwards by means of the upper part of the switch. On the operating element, the crane arm is swiveled to the workbench and the workpiece is lowered. The lever must now be flipped again to release the workpiece from the crane picker. Later, at the customer's side, each cylinder head must be clearly identifiable. To this end, each machinist marks the workpiece with his initials and the assembly number of the cylinder head using punch numbers. Now, a valve spring washer is placed over each valve stem. Valve stem seals are applied to each valve stem, given a few drops of oil and secured using a nut. The cylinder head is now tilted forward by 90 degrees and the intake and exhaust valves are each placed on it. The valves must be oiled at the stem. After that, the valves are inserted into the openings provided for them. The cylinder head is now turned back to its original position. Depending on the cylinder head type, one or two valve springs are used. If two valve springs are used, a valve inner spring is first fitted over each of the valve stems and then a valve outer spring. The valve inner spring is smaller than the valve outer spring. Attention! The colored marking of the springs must always be at the bottom. The next step is to put a spring retainer on top of each valve spring. Now the valve springs have to be tensioned. For this, the cylinder head must first be transported to the pneumatic press by crane. The arm of the pneumatic press must now be placed over the spring plate of the first valve spring. Now operate the front part of the pneumatic press pedal until the valve spring is pressed down and the valve stem is exposed. With the aid of a magnetic rod and tweezers, the two locking wedges are now placed in the grooves on the valve stem on both sides. The arm of the press is now raised again with the rear part of the pedal. The spring relaxes until it is blocked by the locking wedges. Below, this process is repeated for the remaining valve springs. For the leak test of the valves, the attachment of a vacuum test device must be placed ceilingly on the inlet opening. The test device is switched on and now generates a negative pressure. When a negative pressure of 550 to 750 minibar has been reached, the valves are tight and the test has been successfully completed. The cylinder head is now fully assembled. Now it still has to be packed. To do this, the finished cylinder head is transported by crane to a wooden crate. First it is wrapped in oil paper and then the transport box is closed and labeled. Congratulations! You have mounted your first cylinder head. If this now seemed quite complicated to you, don't worry. Just read through the PDF instructions again at your leisure and if you are unsure, simply ask your colleagues or your supervisor. And as the saying goes, practice makes perfect.